So the cross-country race is next then. It's the Glen Farkless Handicap Chase over the cross-country course, or the Glen Farticle, as Stewart used to call it. And it's a three-mile, seven furlong, 0 to 160 handicap. And the top one is Deck Castanea for James Shea, Shamadal Phantom for Thomas Rogers, Fearless Amy, Ryan Tamasebi, De Bansha Man, Alex Cherry, Victory Heights, David Hooley, Maritza Thomas Rogers, Yahoo, John Morgan, Sheila Citron, Darren Thompson, Labanese, Greg Beck with Opus Safari, Ryan Costello, Westwire, Rush Martin, Liam Eager and Keane for Graham Clutterbuck, Civilian Seasons for Ryan Costello and No More Heaven for Paul Rhodes. So only 14 then, not as many as usual and called in and away they go. The rain has stopped and they get to the first and Yahoo gave it a little bit of a wallop but got away with it and they're making their way towards the second of 33 obstacles to take in this one if you've not seen it before i say the word obstacles rather than fences because they're not all what you'd call traditional fences and yahoo has opened up a lead of six lengths then as they make their way down towards the third of them and six or seven lengths leader then to opus safari on the inside in second and then eager and keen is third then comes fearless amy and civilian seasons the perennial puller up is after that one then comes dick castanea and westwire rush with shamadal phantom and no more heaven as they get down to this grand national style fence and over that one they all go and there's a faller at the back there sheila citron has gone so darren thompson successfully Earlier in the day, he's out of this one with Sheila Citron a faller as they get down to the next. And over that one they all go with Yahoo leading. As they get over the next one, and they're all over that one as well. With Yahoo in the lead and Opus Safari in second. Then comes Eager and Keen and Civilian Seasons with Deck Castanea after that one. And then comes Fearless Amy and Westwire Rush as they get to number seven. We'll get over that one. Not many of them in shot, I'm afraid. And Yahoo is the leader by about six lengths to Opus Safari in second. Eager and Keen is third. Then Deck Castaner is fourth. They're already down towards the eighth. This is a giant hurdle. And over that one they all go. You can see the back marker there is just about Labanese with Victory Heights on its inside. The loose horse, the only faller so far. Sheila Citron chasing around at the back. A mistake there was by opus safari but yahoo hopefully the jockey on this one knows the way because it's a funny old route in this track they go in and out and round about and all over the place but it's yahoo in front from eager and keen about five lengths back in second then comes deck castanera in third and civilian season is fourth as they take that one which they all give plenty of air to and bound over it like gazelles don't they and yahoo is the leader now to this next one, jumped that one really well, the leader. The rest of them getting over it okay as well. With Eager and Keen second, Civilian Seasons third, Stablemate Opus Safari back in fourth. Then Deck Castanets after that one, a bit of a gap to Westwire Rush and Shamadal Phantom. Then Fearless Amy and Maritza with the Bansha Man next. And then No More Heaven as they now take this funny bank thing. And over that one they go. And they're all successfully to the other side of that. With... Maritza, I think the last one in shot, Labanese and Victory Heights are out of picture, but it's Yahoo, who's just about to be joined, it would seem, as they get over this next one by Eager and Keen. That's a rather large looking water jump, but they all still successfully get over it with Yahoo in front, then by only three quarters of a length now. Eager and Keen boot up on its outside in second, gap of five or six then to Civilian Seasons with Deck Castaner and Opus Safari as they take that small little obstacle there and over the other side of it as well and over that one they go i don't normally commentate on this race no, Stu normally does this so forgive me if i don't know where they're going or what they're doing but it's eager and keen on the outside of yahoo who is just about in front from civilian seasons back in third and then deck castaner is fourth opus safaris after that one then westwire rush is after that then comes shamadal phantom as they take this next one and over that one they all go We've still lost just the one. I suppose some of these could be in line for a tilt at the National next week. And it's Yahoo on the inside of Eager and Keen. A good gap men of five lengths to civilian seasons. Who's only managed to complete the course once so far this season, I think. With the bank thing going up again then there. And over that one they go. They're all successfully over that. Yahoo on the inside of Eager and Keen. Gap of five or six to Deck Castaner and Civilian Seasons. Opus Safari has then dropped back. 
And alongside West Wire Rush, the Banshee Man is creeping closer. Shaman Al Phantom also going well as they get over this ordinary looking fence. And over that one they all go, and they're all safely over that one as well with Lebanese and Victory Heights just getting into shot momentarily there at the back. That's Yahoo and Eager and Keen. Over that big ditch. And all successfully over that one as well. With John Morgan's Yahoo on the inside of Graham Clutterbuck's Eager and Keen as they take the next. There's still a mile and a half to go. That's the 22nd fence they've just negotiated. And they've still got another 11 to take. And Yahoo and Eager and Keen. Probably seven lengths clear now. Civilian Seasons is in third. And Deck Castaner is fourth. A couple of lengths back to West Wire Rush and then Opa Safari to Bancherman and Shaman Al Phantom. The rest of them are all out of shot at this stage, but are all still going. And it's Yahoo and Eager and Keen as they come within sight of the stand again now and take this water jump. Oops, they've all got over. And Yahoo and Eager and Keen still disputing the lead. With Deck Castaneda third, West Wire Rush moving into fourth as they get over the 24th and we've lost them behind a scoreboard now <laughs> it's Yahoo in the lead Eager and Keen is second Deck Castaner is in third then West Wire rushes after that one then De Bancherman getting a bit closer then Civilian Seasons and Opus Safari as they get over the 25th and it's still Yahoo he's pulling away from Eager and Keen again now by a good couple of lengths, Eager and Keen, maybe just giving that one a bit of a breather in second. Over it they go. They're all still jumping well, and we see them all over it. And then get back up towards the leaders. It's Yahoo, two or three lengths clear of Eager and Keen in second. Deck Castaner being driven along to join them. And get over that one. Oh, Deck Castaner made a mistake there just when he was starting to get going. Another mistake at the back from Victory Heights as well. But Yahoo looks to be going well in the lead. And. John Morgan could well be shouting Yahoo if this one carries on going like this because it's going well in front. Eager and Keen is in second. Then West by Rush, Deck Castaner, Opus Safari is trying to get back into it as well. Good jump there by the Bancher man. Fearless Amy trying to run on. Difficult to see much else getting into it though. Shaman Al Phantom and no more heaven, maybe. But it's Yahoo still in the lead over the 29th. Yahoo's over it in front from Eager and King. Debancher Man, Opa Safari, Fearless Amy, the one that's making really good ground around the outside. West Wild Rush is trying to chat that one. Deck Castaner has dropped away as they jump over the next. And it's Yahoo in front from Debancher Man, who's now gone second. Fearless Amy's in third. Then Opa Safari, Eager and King now looks beaten. West Wild Rush looks one pace as they race down towards the final three furlongs. And the final three obstacles, and it's Yahoo in the lead. Yahoo from De Bancherman, Fearless Amy getting closer. Then Opus Safari, Eager and King, West Wire Rush, Shaman Al Phantom trying to run on. They've still got two more obstacles to get over. They should be fairly normal looking fences now because they're on the race course proper. And it's Yahoo in the lead. De Bancherman is in second, surely between these. Over the second as they go, and De Bancherman lands in front. De Bancherman now pulling away from Yahoo. Opus Safari and West Wire Rush trying to run on. De Bancherman's over the last. He's over it slowly but he's still in front as a furlong to go it's the Bancher man from Yahoo eager and keen trying to run on West Wild Rush and Shaman Al Phantom but the Bancher man is streets clear and the Bancher man is going to take this one for Alex Cherry five races five different trainers have won so far and the Bancher man takes the cross country from Shaman Al Phantom second eager and keen third West Wild Rush was fourth Yahoo fifth then Opus Safari and Fearless Avian Lebanese and civilian seasons got round and Alex Cherry has taken the Glen Farkless cross-country chase pretty impressively. Is that on its way to a tilt at the National next week? We'll have to wait and see. It's Debancherman for Alex Cherry, the winner. Shamanal Phantom for Thomas Rogers run another good race in second. Eager and Keen for Graham Clutterbuck ran on again in third with Westmire Rush in fourth for Martin Liedemann. Long-time leader Yahoo just ran out of puff at the end for John Morgan.